Our farm was a conventional farm from 1977 till the early 90s. We became certified organic in about 1993. And if someone wants to farm a new piece of land that they claim is organic, number one, it has to be free of chemicals for three years. You can't go in and start with year one and start growing organic. It takes three years transition. So on the third year, you can harvest, you can harvest as certified organic. Being certified organic requires a lot of documentation. So where I bought my seeds, did I make every attempt to procure uh, organic seed? If I was not able to procure organic seed, did I get non-treated seed? Uh, there's no, no allowance for any treated seed. What type of uh, materials am I using? Are they all able to be used in an organic operation? Do I have documentation of that? So the, all those rules have to be documented and followed. My mission is, is to help make people healthy. I mean, shouldn't that be what a farmer does? Gets up in the morning and says, that, this is my mission. I want the taste of my food to be so good that you want to eat it. And I want that food to not only taste good, but to be really good for you. That's what I aspire to. The same effort that one would make into improving the health, their own health, is the same effort that a farmer should make in improving their soil. So as the, the soil is improved, those trace minerals, those micronutrients, those minerals, they're supplied through the roots of the plant, into the fruits, into the other parts of the vegetables that we eat, and they, they enhance flavor. It's of paramount importance to myself and my family, and really it's a, it's a bond that I think most all organic farmers and growers share, is to do the utmost to improve the soil to improve the earth and, and in, in so improve the lives of the customers that buy our products.